The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team. Well, thanks everybody. Well, in the next 30 minutes, we're gonna get an opportunity to do what we call our trilogy presentation. We're gonna be featuring physician transformation stories. And I can't wait for all of you to hear the stories that we're gonna share with you in this next 30 minutes. We're gonna be talking about our, our health program and also the health coach opportunity. We're gonna be explaining specific steps on how individuals get healthier with our program and how they're helping other people as Optavia coaches. My name is David Bush and I get to be your moderator tonight. And as you can see on your screen, I personally had a physical transformation. I'm not a health professional, but the greatest story about this whole program program is, is that there's people out there that are getting healthier, that are inspiring health professionals to get healthy. And I've had a chance to work with health professionals in lots of different specialties. And it's been my absolute pleasure to be able to share the gift of Optavia with health professionals and non-health professionals and show them the power of the programming that we have. Uh, my life was forever transformed with this health coaching program. And it was because of my connection to a process, a process that was created by Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson, the 10th physician board certified in critical care, valedictorian of his medical class who spent nearly two decades inside of critical care medicine and was one of the pioneers as the 10th board, or, uh, board certified critical care physician. And he created a process called the Habits of Health System and he created a business model and co-founded it uh, 17 years ago. And this amazing program called Optavia, which stands for the optimal way. And what he wanted to create was a process to teach individuals to create optimal health and well-being in their life. And his system and our partnership and our medical heritage has really helped us to become one of the leaders and one of the pioneers in the world of lifestyle coaching. We've got this amazing network of coaches that include health professionals and non-health professionals that are uh, locking arms side by side in their own individual ways, getting America healthy and then the world. And tonight we get a chance to talk to you a little bit more about this mission and how uh, licensed physicians are actually incorporating this idea of Optavia coaching into their daily lives, not only to help themselves to get healthier, but reaching down to their peers, into their patients, into their patients' family, into the communities, and helping them to begin to overcome what has oftentimes been seen as a barrier, and the barrier being getting to a healthy weight. Most of you are already familiar with the epidemic that we have in America, and even now the world, now turning into globesity. We are now exporting overweight and obesity to other uh, countries because of this fast food world that we've created. And because of the sedentary lifestyle, you know this. Most of you as health professionals or even non-health professionals, you know there is a major struggle and there's a major problem, a pandemic of sorts of overweight and obesity, which is the mother and father of all lifestyle related diseases. Now we have 37.9% of adults over 20 years of age that are in the obese category. Nearly 40% of Americans in that category. We now have 70.7%, .7%, almost 71% of adults age 20 and older that are in the overweight and obese category. And we know the problems that are coming if this doesn't turn around. Many of us have seen the statistics and the growing epidemic. And this is why Dr. Anderson left critical care medicine in a very illustrious medical career because he knew that he wasn't solving the problem. He knew he was just fixing people temporarily. So he decided to move upstream and he made a program that combined four major components along with the Optavia coach opportunity as a fifth optional component for those people that wanted to help other people to get healthier, they could become trained coaches. And tonight you'll get a chance to learn more about these four components, but it's with these four components that makes our unique business model a comprehensive lifestyle program. 
And to kick us off tonight, I'm going to introduce you to one of my close friends, Dr. Joe Picarero. He uh, is an amazing individual, not only because of his passion for people, because, but because of his expertise in helping people to overcome the barriers uh, by helping them to utilize the Optavia system and using his uh, vast medical expertise to be able to help people to understand it's not as complex as what he has had to learn over uh, decades of years of experience in schooling. So Dr. Joe, we're so excited that you're here to share a little bit about your story and how your health coach and the role of health coach and the habits of health system helped you to create better health and well-being for yourself and for others. Welcome to the webinar. But for those of you who are looking at that picture, you can see that um, in the one picture where I'm over more than 300 pounds, uh, that is not a comfortable way to be. It's definitely not a comfortable way to lean over the operating room table. And so when I found this program, I knew that um, I was looking for something that could really give me health in my life. But I really was looking for more than that because I was also looking for a way to be able to expand the dreams that I had because I always knew that it was more than just uh, medicine that I was interested in. I had a, a, a lot of big dreams, a lot of things that I wanted to do with my life. And if, if I could give any recommendation to people, it's this. Don't let your stubbornness keep you from getting involved sooner. Because what I did is, is I put this off for eight months. Thankfully, I had a very persistent coach, someone who was not another physician. He was a furniture stripper at the time. But because I was looking and because he kept persisting, I embraced the opportunity for him to be my coach. And I think this is something that especially some physicians sometimes have difficulty with because we do go through so much education and so much training. And for us to have to sort of uh, step down our pride a little bit and say, hey, this is something that I'm not familiar with. This is something that I haven't done before. I need help. And when I first did that, I had to ask for help on the program itself. Although it was easy, I felt like I didn't need a coach. And I wondered why my coach was calling me, but I always had a question for him. And that one-on-one -on -one support is important for many people. Even those of us who don't think it's important, it's helpful. It may not be as important as it is for some, as it is for others, but it, it, it still brings you into a community of people where you can sort of lean on somebody else, you can get advice from somebody else, you can have someone who can guide you through the process. And while it really is a simple system and it's a simple program, and uh, al although we can't talk too much about weight loss, you could see that from my pictures, I did lose in excess of 100 pounds. I lost 123 pounds, and that was 12 years ago. Prior to that, I had been up and down throughout my entire life, and now here I am 13 years later, able to do things physically that I could never even dream of doing before. So the key for me was when I got to that point where I reached my goal weight, I started to have that fear that so many people have as they approach their goal weight. Am I going to gain it back? If so, how long will it take? But thankfully, we have the system in place that's able to replace the bad habits with the good habits. And because we have a structure to that system and we're able to make those changes over time, it can give us sustained um, success. And I think that's really what everyone's looking for. Everyone is looking for not to lose weight, but to get healthy and to stay healthy. And as I said, David, um, I've been able to do things now. The physical transformation has been phenomenal for me. Climbing mountains, hiking, kayaking, running nearly five times a week. Things that really I would think were foolish. You saw the picture of my family with me in a, uh, at the end of a marathon. I thought that was for silly people. Why would someone want to run 26 miles? But you know what? It's because they can and I think that's one of the wonderful things about this. It gives, especially physicians, the opportunity to expand beyond medicine, which is why we're able to, in our nonprofit organization, 
not just be building a hospital in Kenya, but be able to go there for it, to be able to see the patients and see the progress and not have to worry about rescheduling. What am I going to do with my caseload? What am I going to do with my patients? What am I going to do with my office hours? And even worse of all, what am I going to do with the overhead while I'm not working? So there are so many advantages to physicians I can't even begin to say because I can remember that when I got to the point where I had an opportunity to be able to close my practice because of my success of coaching in this business, um, it was a wake-up call because it was options that I never knew that I could have and yet they were options that were real and that thankfully I've been able to exercise them in in my opinion, quite fun and exciting in um, and progressive way. And at the same time, we do it by helping others. So good, Dr. Joe. And it's just such a pleasure to hear stories like yours and the transformations that you've had, not only from a physical perspective, but a mental and financial and even now a vocational perspective. And what we like to say that, that we have a good, better, and best model for physicians. We have an opportunity where a good strategy is to refer your patients to one of our certified coaches. And if you don't have somebody in your office that you can refer them to, you can refer them to a qualified coach and you can contact the person that invited you to have that conversation. Or we can train a person inside of your office working with the person that invited you to watch this video. They can train a qualified person inside of your office and this can be a non-health professional or you can take on the role and lots of different people do it lots of different ways so the great part about this model is it's flexible and we can create an opportunity that works for you what you're interested in one of the opportunities I've had is to partner with Dr. Sharon Fleischer who's in family medicine in Pennsylvania I had the pleasure of working with one of her patients who ended up losing 140 pounds it was his story that awoke Sharon to this idea of health coaching and how it could transform her life and the, and the clients that she works with and the patients. And Dr. Sharon, it's such a pleasure to have you on the webinar tonight. Thank you, David. It's, it's really an honor. And I'm, I'm actually excited that tonight's call was all about um, going above the line in this drama triangle. Um, five and a half years ago, I was stuck in that triangle. I was trying to be hero for all of my patients and give them all these tools of how to get healthier and writing it down for them and dumping all kinds of information on them. And yet they'd come back and they weren't getting any healthier. I had no control over how I could help my patients create health. That affected me in some pretty negative ways. Mentally, I was very stressed. I was addicted to sleeping pills and I just didn't take care of myself. And that of course has a ripple effect. I spent my entire life wanting to help other people, but the last person I was helping was me. And so when Todd came into the office, it, it was an awakening that I had no idea what it would bring me to today. I saw him as an opportunity to learn something to help my patients get healthier which was fantastic. Wow, I can do something for them. But when I experienced it, in order to be able to share it with them, I had to know about it. It changed my life in ways I honestly could never have dreamt of happening. Um, I am much more um, confident and comfortable in who I am. I you know, was successful in losing some weight with a very easy tool. I have a social life. I don't just go to the office, see my patients and go home to my family. I have a community now that I can rely on any time of day that is one of the greatest gifts that Optavia has offered me. So the transformation that I saw within myself is something that I am truly grateful because I've been relying on what I thought I knew in medicine to take care of myself and I was doing just the opposite. I've actually been more successful at helping my patients get healthier as their doctor because I was their health coach than I was as a regular old family physician. So the future of medicine, which is wellness and creating health and awakening somebody to what they really want, um, I'm truly excited about being in the forefront of that. Um, the community, again, we have these support calls, we have events, we have a nutrition department. I don't have to know it all. We have a way to support our people. Um, but the nutrition has to be, I think it's the best in class. We have programs that are meant for anybody out there, whether they're nursing mothers or seniors or diabetics or athletes or somebody who does need to lose weight. We have these extremely nutrient dense products that are 
as you can see here on the screen. They have all the right amounts of vitamins, minerals, additional vitamin D, probiotics, no artificial anything, and it's a tool. It's a tool that we use to fuel our body to go create a healthy weight and to teach people how to continue to eat in a healthy way as they learn the rest of the habits of health system that Dr. Joe talked about. So for me, the convenience of grab and go, I used to never eat during the day. It was, I was too busy, right? How many people aren't too busy? So a grab and go nutritious snack or something that I can microwave within two minutes made it simple for me to fuel my body in a healthy way to not only get physically healthier, but the mental clarity that comes from feeling better is a greater weight off of my shoulders than anything that I lost physically. So put together your nutrition with a community of like-minded people and the two components that Dr. Joe talked about, and it's just magical. So good, Sharon. And it's just always a pleasure to hear your story again and to know that it was the patient that got healthier that really awoke you to this idea of health and lifestyle coaching being such a pivotal, pivotal opportunity. And it's backwards for a lot of physicians to think that our patients are awakening us to get healthier. And that may be backwards, but it's the way it's working. And, and so many people are getting healthier because people around them are getting healthier. And we use these four components to create this model of support so that it's not something that you have to work more hours or you have to you know, write out more meal plans. It's all turnkey and it's medically uh, tested, it's clinically proven. And so this is not some weird diet or detox or exercise program, it's about transformation. And our next panelist is uh, one of the most prestigious uh, physicians that are leading the wellness charge. She's out on the West Coast in the Palm Desert area. And Dr. Gerilyn Brosfield is not only uh, doing health coaching in the world of Optavia, but she's actually integrating this model of coaching and using the habits of health inside of a wellness program for her uh, organization. And so I can't wait for you to hear how she's using the program to create a healthier mind for herself and also for her patients and even the employees that work alongside of her in her organization. So Dr. Gerilyn, thank you for joining the webinar. Thank you, David. It's such an honor to be here. And I just resonated with your story, Sharon, because it sounds like we were twins a few years ago. Um, I'm an OBGYN that had a private practice. And I used to say that I would be stomping down the hall at about 10 o'clock in the morning with my head feeling like it was going to explode because I thought I was super, super stressed. And what I realized when I actually went on Optavia was that I was actually really, really hypoglycemic and had a very low blood sugar because I wasn't eating at that point in the morning. And so my patients got way better care from me as a doctor when I started to feed myself and nourish myself. So that was kind of my first aha. I was in a really discouraged place also when I, when I was found by Optavia. Um, I was in a discouraged place because I hadn't had success in doing all of that telling to my patients of how to do it. They hadn't been able to do it. There wasn't a structure that was predictable that they could rely on and there was no community to sort of support people through change. So when I started the program, the first thing I lost was my anxiety. I also lost eight pounds, which I was grateful for because most people would have said I didn't have any weight to lose, but it made a big difference to my health. And the most important thing that sort of was the unexpected bonus, I guess I would say, as I started this program, my patients started to get healthy. There was no question that this worked, that there was a structure, there was a community, which were the exact components of long-term success in lifestyle change that I had been trying to like motivate by my own blowing the embers kind of thing in my patients. But this program did that um, with the patient by generating their own hope and their own motivation. But then what happened was I realized that there was a whole mind shift that started to happen. And I honestly, just in a really um, authentic way, what I have to say is that I wasn't healthy in my head or in my relationships at that time. And it's one thing to get your body healthy, but if you go home and your relationships are not fulfilling and warm and building of the life you want to be where you're supporting your family and being the best they can be and they supporting you, like to me, actually family and our relationship at home is kind of the number one 
priority in life. And so that was the place that transformation started to happen. And some of that was in my own perception, right? My own mindset, my own viewing things as possibilities rather than problems, becoming solution oriented instead of problem focused. And to me, one of the biggest benefits that still impacts my life every day is that my coaching team taught me and Dr. Anderson and some of the teaching that we did at some of our leadership retreats taught me about um, my perception and my focus. Some of the things Lisa was talking about on the call just a little bit ago about looking towards what we want to create in our lives. And so this wellness um, assessment that I would use for my patients every day started to make a difference in myself because of course I checked myself out and I wasn't so hot on the healthy mind and the healthy finances even after my body was healthy. And so the transformation around staying in a constant community of growth where we're learning new things like how to play above the line, like options instead of the drama triangle, the fact that I had been trying to be a hero and over and over, I still fall back into trying to be a hero all the time. And it's helped me a lot to realize a hero is only doing a temporary fix. So working through that healthy mind piece then generated something even more unexpected in our family. And that was that our kids were getting close to college age and our oldest turned out that she as a very bright person got into an Ivy League school that was gonna cost us an arm and a leg and we were like, guess what? You can go, no problem. And so the financial side of things, which was not at all why I got involved with this, but it was just sort of this extra blessing that happened along the way, ended up being the result of a healthy mind, a healthy body, and a lot of patients who were getting healthy. So from a financial standpoint, I would say that Optavia saved our bacon. You know, we were in a private practice where Private practices take a lot of income and a lot of effort to keep rolling. And by working as a health coach, we ended up having, having abundance that our kids can go to college and really reach for their dreams. And to me, that really points out one thing that just in case you're watching this webinar and you're interested in changing the situation in your own life, one of the things that's just really sort of sobering about America today is that more than half of America doesn't have an emergency fund. So if your car blows up or you know the air conditioner goes out or whatever emergency could come along, a medical bill, um, there's no backup system for half of America right now. And when you think about that and a median income in this country of around 50, $52,000, um, that's kind of scary. It means people don't, don't have a safety net and Optavia has provided a safety net, and I see that working the best for my coaches. Honestly, a lot of them, it's a part-time side job. It's their favorite side gig, and it gives them a buffer that protects their finances. The market is so big for this, there is no um, lack of people who need our help. If people are healthy in their body, they may need decreased anxiety like I did, or they may need to have a healthy mind, or the ability to send their kids to college without going into debt. So I would say market is huge. There are people around us every day who need us. And I try so clearly not to prejudge what someone needs because people need all kinds of the support that this program provides. And I've just been so blessed to be blessed by our community and our program. Great. Thanks, Dr. Gerilyn. It's uh, just uh, really encouraging to hear the words that you're sharing and just the transparency of the fact that Physicians are human beings as well, and they have struggles at home, and they have struggles in their own financial situations, and there are many people that have plenty of money, but they have no time, and then there's people that have time, but not enough money, and then there's people that have no time or money, and then there's people that have time and money, and the Optavia opportunity is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to create health and well-being in your life and in the lives of others, and our next uh, panelist is uh, another one that has had uh, quite a transformation, and it's been something that has made an impact on his uh, professional life, but also in his own personal life. He's got a wicked slap shot, and I can't wait for you to hear more of Dr. Paul Agrano's story. Dr. Paul, welcome to the webinar. Thanks, Dave. And uh, I think I'm the last panelist, so I'll try to wrap this up rather quickly for everyone who's on. Um, and you know what? Um, part of being the last panelist, you hear everyone before you and you get all these things in your head and you identify with so many different things, which I did through the caller. So I don't wanna get um, 
um, distracted by all the things, wonderful things I heard. But one, one key thing that I did here, um, and Geraldine just brought this up, um, is that modeling and mentoring, especially if you're a healthcare professional. And, you know, it's interesting. I actually have someone that I uh, know and love, and they're in AA, okay? So we're not the first ones who developed this model. And I was in the car with them, and someone called, and they said, uh, they were going through his conversation. I said, who was that? And they said, oh, that's Jim. I'm like, I never heard of Jim. And he's like, well, you're an AA. You have to model, and you have to sponsor someone, okay? And, and they understand that in order for other people to keep sober, when you become sober, you're encouraged to sponsor other people. So I just came full circle to me like, oh, that's what we do. And we get paid to do it. So it's a win-win. So anyway, um, just a little bit about my story of where I came from. Um, it, we have um, eight years ago, my wife had Irish twins. In other words, OBGYN as well has that happen. Um, but my wife was pregnant. Six weeks later, she got pregnant again. So there was, my kids are 10 months apart. And in that 10 month period, my wife had gained from you know her first pregnancy and her second pregnancy. So now she's up about 45 to 50 pounds. And so after the pregnancy, she's sitting on the couch. I was not involved in weight loss. It just, you know, wasn't really on my radar. And my wife was not too happy about it. And I kept on saying, go back to Weight Watchers because that's how she managed her 10 pounds when she was 10 pounds overweight. But now she's 50 pounds overweight. And my wife looks at me and she goes, you don't know what you're talking about. Now, I will say that that's not the first or last time my wife has ever said that to me. Um, but I didn't really know what I was talking about. I had no idea um, about nutrition, sadly, as an OBGYN. However, what I did do was start to ask my patients about what they were doing when I saw my patients had lost weight. So that's how I found out about this program. And my wife ended up doing the program. And she did very well, okay? However, I was on the sidelines. I was on the sidelines in two different ways. I was in sidelines for my own health. And I was also in the sidelines from my business about what I was doing as an OBGYN. So anyway, I first came out of the sidelines of my own health. I eventually went on the program. I didn't have a lot of weight to lose, but I will tell you, you know, I was an athlete in college and I was an athlete afterwards, but just like my wife, I kind of gained some weight during those times with the kids being up late at night. So 17 pounds was it and actually a big deal for me, okay? And I went on the program, I lost my 17 pounds. So, all right, I was off the sidelines as far as the program working for me, but I still wasn't on the side, I still was um, on the sidelines as far as how do I offer this to my patients? Is it real? I mean, it worked for me, but maybe anything would have worked for me, I don't know. So. Um, I, I, I decided that I needed to know more about this. So my wife actually is coaching, getting people healthy, doing wonderful. And I'm like, I, I'm not sure I know enough about this. So what ended up happening was I decided I'm going to get boarded in bariatric medicine. So I went through the American Board of Obesity Medicine and I spent two years in all these lectures and seminars. And it really brought me full circle to like, oh my God, stuff that they're teaching us, we do. And one of the things that really um, I thought was amazing was, and this is like a, a guru, I forget, he was from Georgetown, I forget the name off the top of my head, it may come to me, but anyway, he turned around and said, the most important thing to do is manage your patient's expectations. Okay, don't think that you're going to do this or do that. And if they lose 12 pounds over three months, that's a big deal. And then you should you, they should transition if they maintain their 12 pounds. Or, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, Lord, I, you know, we do that in the first month sometimes. And it's not that the, we're doing it unhealthy, by the way. So I'm learning that we're not only just losing weight but we're protecting our lean muscle mass, which is very key. And we're doing it. And I'm saying, I, you know, in our program, we don't manage expectations. We build expectations. We ask our clients to dream, okay? And so that brought me full circle. 
Now, I will tell you that I still work full time. Um, Joe, in the beginning, you know, has closed his practice. And the truth of the matter is, if something really happened, I could walk away from my practice. I joke around with a lot of people that I say have two professions, two dogs, and two kids, only one wife, okay? So, and my professions are sort of very, very split. And I'll tell you my two professions. Sick care, not health care, and then health care, not sick care. So I do practice sick care in my office, and you have to do that, okay? You don't say, I'm not gonna give you insulin because you need to lose weight because the person may die or whatever it may be. I'm not gonna give you a blood pressure medication. So I do practice sick care because you do, because sometimes you need to put that Band-Aid on while they're really trying to figure out how to get through, all right? so. It's a very easy thing for me to share in my office. I empower them that there is a different path, but I still do both paths. So I think this is a very important thing. And, you know, um, it gets back to a slide. You know, Dave, you had it before that I just want to tap in on. Uh, but if you, don't, if you don't have it, it's just, it, it's, it's about the leverage and your legacy. That's the key, okay? So sooner or later, I will not be doing OBGYN, but I don't think that sooner or later I will not ever be modeling and mentoring. And this is a great legacy for any physician or healthcare professional to have. I call it my plan D, that's gonna be my plan A plus down the future, okay? So I do do both of those things. I have no problems doing it. Some people will not and focus just on this. Some people do. So every, it's, the, it's very flexible about how you want to do it as a healthcare professional. And whoever invited you to this webinar, speak to them because they can tell, they're gonna walk with you and all you need to tell them is what you want to do and we have that opportunity available for you. All right, that's it, Dave. Thanks so much, Dr. Paul. And this is the this is the kind of fast-paced environment we wanted to give you. We wanted to give you the highlights. And you know, in terms of the next steps, if you'd like to get going with this, is that Dr. Paul just gave them to you. It's talking to the person that connected you to do this video and asking them about the next steps and how to learn more and to explore it. It may be right for you in your practice, or it might be a good referral opportunity for you to refer people back to the certified coach that introduced you to it. If you want to have an individual in your office or yourself trained, it's very simple to do. You can learn while you earn. We use a mentoring model where we, in, we teach individuals how to do the coaching. And because it's physician-led and it's self-paced, uh, the individual can do the program on their own and they can actually go through the process in a very simple manner. And you know what it looks like to you may be different than what it looks like for Dr. Paul or Dr. Gerilyn or Dr. Sharon or Dr. Joe. It's up to you to decide what you do. This is an opportunity. This is not a job that you have to take on uh, that is based upon how many people that you get healthier with the program. So if you don't help very many people to get healthy, you won't make a lot of income. And that's what the income disclosure statement says on our website. You'd be, you're more than welcome to download it or contact the person that invited you to watch this video to see a copy of it. But what the basically says is, is that some people just want to help a few patients or friends or family members and some people want to help America to get healthier and it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it. There's plenty of opportunity to get America healthy. It's just a matter of finding the ones who are willing to do the work and to start the healthy conversations. And so I encourage all of you to explore it further, to join our Optivia, Optivia community, either as a referral partner or as one of our health coaches and health professionals. We would love to have you become part of this amazing dynamic community of both health professionals and non-health professionals that are getting America healthy and creating lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. Thanks for joining us tonight, and if you enjoyed this video, please share it with somebody that you think might benefit, and contact the person that invited you to get more details. Thank you, everybody, and have a good day. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants, and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. 
While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team, 